to you when you dance, dance, dance. The music and the hot dogs and a few splashing children and a whole lot of red, white, and blue. Make up a normal 4th of July celebration at Texas Harley Davidson in Bedford. But for two men on their Harleys on their way to that event, it means a little bit more. Unfortunately, yeah. This is Joe Stazione. I've been to more funerals since I've been to Dallas than I've been to in my entire life. And this is Jimmy Mack. Down here every day is Independence Day. Every day is Memorial Day. Every day is Veterans Day. We're thrown into this. We live this. This is our life. Their lives on a motorcycle or off are dedicated to the Dallas Veteran Assistance Group 22 Killed. Former warriors helping each other battle the statistic of 22 veteran suicides a day. And some of that counseling can happen on a Harley. They call it wind therapy. On a bike, to survive, you have to focus on the road ahead, not the painful path you might have already traveled. You're getting people that are concentrating on what's going on in front of them and they lose what's going on in their head. To get people into this community where they can feel brotherhood is the most important part of it. The event at Texas Harley Davidson. We are taking donations for 22 Kill right here behind you. Is a fundraiser to help the men and women at 22 Kill continue their work, continue counseling veterans looking for that next open road. So uh, let's pitch in and, and make it make it rain. And while they're at it, don't judge a book by its cover. These members of the veterans biker group American Infidels try to fight the negative stigma a biker vest and a few tattoos can sometimes bring. They're on the road to raise money to help veterans in need. I know I'm well aware of what I look like, but don't judge a book by its cover because we give good hugs and they're good people. Good people ready to help any veteran focus on the road and the life ahead while leaving their demons behind. In Bedford, I'm Kevin Reese.